Hey there Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to Stars Online Darko YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Can't start here with your next three months, final quarter of 2023 reading. This is for October, November, and December 2023. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others too be able to see these messages that might not otherwise i also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members thank you all so so much for being here i truly truly appreciate each and every one of you all right so mind blowing here aquarius that we are already into the final quarter the last three months of 2023 where in the heck did the time go where in the heck does the time go? It's just out of control. Out of control. I can't believe it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at October, November, December 2023 for you for the rest of 2023 here. I keep saying 2023. So, wow, this could uh, go out with a bang. <laughs> is kind of what's coming through. Now, if you have not been here for the quarterly readings on the channel before for the last three or the next three uh, months readings, let me explain or let you in on the little secret of kind of how this works. At the end of each year, I do do the next year, kind of next 12 months reading. So there is one card for each month that we go through, kind of um, an overview, if you will, of the coming year. When I do the next three months or the quarterly readings, I do go back to those and use the cards that came through at the end of your prior. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you're understanding what I'm saying. So let's jump in. Now, I do love also going back and uh, for myself, some of you may as well, going back and watching those and um, really kind of going through what happened during that three month time frame okay so for this one we have two major arcana one in october one in december so this next three months is going to be pretty exciting like i said going out with a bang right in the middle in november we've got the seven of wands coming in so interesting let's get into it all right let's get into it here so for october the card now also um, you can go back on the channel about nine months in the videos and watch there's a part one and a part two the part one is the first six months of the year the part two is the, the next six months of the year uh, of the readings okay so there's two parts for the readings for this year you can go back and watch those on the channel again I like I said it's nine months ago and it and I think it's um, a look with the two eyes Aquarius into what's coming in I think that's what the title is so maybe you could even search it but um a lot of times I'll link them at the end of the video and this time I'm going to let you go and look for it if that's what you want to do. Look for them, okay, if that's what you want to do to find out like the full forecast. We, um, For this last one, I also pulled fortune cards to go with the monthly, so uh, pretty exciting information coming through their snapshots, if you will. All right, let's jump in. So in October, you had um, Temperance. So Temperance is our starter card here for October. So for temperance. Now, listen, we were just talking about this, right? Uh, when I first started this, where has the time gone? For many of you, 2023 has just felt like it has just zoop, zip, zap, gone, right? Moving, moving so fast, right? Through 2023. And temperance is showing up here in October for you, Aquarius, to slow things down down a bit okay slow things down a bit the seasons are changing um yeah it's it's gonna be just this energy of really kind of ah all right all right this is this is a little better tempo okay this temperance is here to offer some balance right and some of the seeds that you have planted are coming to fruition they're coming to um kind of a completion there's a potential feeling of harvest within that energy life is feeling good for you of course it's not going to be so overwhelming or feeling so overwhelming here in october now let's get a few more cards to go with that let's see um a few more cards what else does aquarius and need to know how the cards are acting up so you might have some energy 
of something acting up in October, but don't worry. It's, it feels like it's going to be here at the beginning of October, kind of some acting up energy. See something not kind of sitting right or somebody like acting a fool in October. Wouldn't that be funny if the full card came out? Um, it is going to balance itself out back out pretty quickly. So it's not going to last very long. Um, Aquarius, don't worry. Okay. Don't worry your pretty or handsome little head. It's going to balance right out. Let's go ahead and see what else does Aquarius need to know for October, 2023. We're going to get two more cards for each and let's see. We have the nine of cups and the nine of swords. Aquarius, you see this? you see this energy. This is like contrasting energy to the nines, right? Because they're both nines. <laughs> see what I did there? Contrasting energy to the nines. Isn't this interesting? So some of you are in this place where you're like, uh, in October, you're like, Bleh, kind of, right? It's with that nine of swords. You're in this energy of, okay, it's almost done. It's almost done. Maybe for some of you, it's, oh, we're almost at the finish line at the end of the year. We're almost there. We only got a couple more months left, right? Um, I, so interesting that this came through. All right, contrasting to the nines. So that, that nine of swords energy, is that energy really coming through as um, feeling anxious, right? It's almost like we just talked about that energy of that overwhelm or that energy of things, somebody like being kind of a little sideways or acting a little bit of a fool or, or, um, that energy of feeling overwhelmed, right? At the beginning of the month that's coming through. Now you see, if we split it, we've got the nine of swords on one side with the temperance in the middle with the nine of cups. Let's check this for October. So you're moving into October with this energy of overwhelm, of being potentially a little bit anxious or even feeling as if maybe you're, you're having nightmares or not really sleeping very well, or they're right. The hopelessness, whatever it may be here for you specifically, Aquarius moving into October for some, you know, it starts to get a little bit dreary as far as the weather goes or it's not as warm or as sunny and that can bring on a little bit of a of a gloomy feeling in October temperance is here to balance that out that energy there's going to be some um things that you like some seeds that you planted we already talked about that are going to be coming to fruition here in October there's going to be that harvest you're moving into uh October right in the beginning you've got that nine of swords you've got that temperance coming in to be like Ooh, let's balance this out let's slow things down a little bit let's um you know create a, a a grounded space or even a safe space for some of you right let's let that overwhelm kind of go let's slow it down let's slow it down and then you've got that nine of cups coming in here and that nine of cups energy is that energy of a wish fulfilled feeling very um, right, the harvest, the the seeds coming to fruition that you had already planted, this energy of life feeling good. So you're going to have, right, you've got that, that extremes on both sides, contradicting energy to the nines here, Aquarius, but temperance is here in the middle to balance that out. And from the beginning, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then you're going to be like, whoo, life is good. I'm I'm enjoying this. Really, things slowed down. I can breathe. It's feeling good. So October is going to come in strong with the heavy stuff, and then it's going to feel like a good, feel good month after that. Okay, awesome here, Aquarius. Now, let's move into November. Ooh, November's got that seven of wands. So some of you are moving into this energy in November of okay, maybe maybe the year hadn't kind of gone or maybe the the past couple months you hadn't really had that um attainment or fulfillment right nines tend to be you're almost there you're almost there and then in november you're like hey i got the seven of wands potentially i haven't really done all the things that i wanted to do and you're in this energy of hey i'm gonna finish this i'm gonna fight for what i want here coming out strong at the end of the year right i'm gonna i'm reevaluating kind of the people i'm hanging around so you're you're gonna potentially be um, for some of you, you're going to notice or you're going to be seeing that some of the people around you are not the best people, not the best apples around you here in November. Potentially things have been leading up to you understanding or seeing this. Potentially they had been good. Um, things have been going well with whoever these people are for you moving up to this point. But then in November, there's there's this energy of manipulation that it feels like you might be 
noticing by the people around you or by other people uh, kind of in your environment, your group, maybe even in your workplace. So you're going to be standing up here in November, of course. You're really going to be in the space with the Seven of Wands of of really, um, for some of you, mounting a defense. Some of you may need to step up or rise up or use your voice in November here uh, to really, really fight for something that you want and or to fight for the people that you love in your life. So this is, November could potentially be a... Um, an interesting month for you here as well, Aquarius, in the fact that, again, that going out with a bang kind of energy coming through here, it's almost as if you're like, okay, maybe I've put up with this for long enough, or maybe I haven't said anything, or maybe somebody else hasn't said something, or maybe, you know, the, the signs have kept showing up, and now I've got the real proof, or whatever it is, and now, you know, we're just here in November, and it's time for me to say something, it's time for me to do something right, whatever this is, stand up and fight for what it is, or what I want, or for other people, or however this is coming through for you, of course, but going out with a bang really is coming through, okay? Okay. Now let's see what else does Aquarius need to know with November. You've got, oh, look at you, Aquarius. With that seven of wands, you've got the six of swords. So some of you are walking away from something in November. There's a transition. This transition does feel positive is you've got the knight of wands here so there's a potential that you received an offer okay because knights can be an offer coming in a passionate offer even but some of you are transitioning you're leaving behind uh something here it and again right that seven of wands energy that feeling like you're ready to fight or stand up for or reevaluating kind of the people that you're hanging around some of you are are in november deciding here aquarius to walk away from a group or from a job or or from a specific person, or however this may come through for you, that manipulation or that energy of no longer, you know, um, supporting you in one way or another, of course, but some of you are, are transitioning, you're walking away from that in November, and spirits like high five, of course, that is the best decision that you can make, because you also have this nine of wands energy, so some of you are really moving into this place of kind of being a free spirit, or moving into an energy of freedom okay some of you had felt like you were kind of chained in or locked down and you weren't feeling very passionate or very creative again this could come through in in a business or a work environment as well of course but some of you are moving out of that some of you have or will be also receiving an offer so if this has to do with work for you here in november of course uh, and you're putting your resumes out there or you're you're putting applications out or potentially you put fillers out, there will be an offer coming in that will create um, or open up a space for you, creative, your creativity. That's interesting how that, that, yeah, for your creativity, there will be an energy of feeling more passionate around it. Okay. But also there is, um, for, for those of you that this doesn't have to do with work, but has to do with like a friend group or, or manipulative people that have been around you that you're kind of uh, walking away from, there is this energy of new people coming in. It's almost as if you're out and about here, Aquarius, and you strike, strike up a conversation for some reason in November, I'm seeing a coffee house. Um, you strike up a conversation with somebody and it's like, oh, you know, all of a sudden you've got this new friend group that is amazing that they have like their their um, goals and their values and kind of where they are in life is like on point period for where it is that you are either moving into or wanting to go. And it's like, yes, I'm here. I finally found my tribe or my group that, you know, I, I really can grow with in November. So Aquarius, good on you. Ah, that's gorgeous. Now look, December coming in here strong, Aquarius, with that hermit energy. A lot of times at the end of the year, right, in December, we're like, whoa, what did I do this year? What did, what did I achieve, right? So some of you in December are going to be taking a step back and reflecting on 2023, on what you did, on what you learned, on your experiences, right? There's going to potentially be a little bit of self self-analysis in the most beautiful, positive way, right? The, the questions coming through, what did you learn Aquarius in 2023? What are you choosing to take into 2024 with you? And what are you choosing to leave in 2023, right? Lots of stuff has come through, but there's some introspection in December. There's some energy with this hermit of really, really 
kind of shining a light on the inside to see kind of what am I feeling? Where am I at? Right. This year has been whew, a whirlwind. It's been like moving so quickly, all the things, right? What were the experiences? What do I want to take with me into 2024? And what am I going to choose? Free will here, Aquarius. You get to decide what am I going to choose to leave in 2023 and not carry that baggage over the finish line, over into New Year's, over right into 2024. Because I, you don't have to, Aquarius, right? Remind yourself, I don't have to take nothing with me. I don't have to carry any baggage. I can drop it all right at the door before I cross that threshold or before I cross the finish line, right? And then move into 2024. I don't have to take it. I don't have to take no baggage. Repeat after me, of course, here in December and or now, whenever you're seeing this, repeat it. I don't have to take it with me. I don't have to take the baggage. I don't have to carry it. It's a heavy load. I get to drop that off. I don't have to take it no more. Okay. So December is looking pretty good. You're really evaluating. You're looking at things. You're deciding, okay, did this work? Did that work? What did I learn? What did, what were the experiences? What did I accomplish? Where did I, you know, gain? What could have potentially been shifted, right? Or, right? There's so much beautiful energy around you, Aquarius. And in December, you're going to be highlighting it because it's, it's almost like some of you might even be doing a pros and cons list. I can see like a list and, and like one side is here and one side is there. And then I'm seeing like yellow highlighter, which is... Yeah, you go, Aquarius, you go, okay? He's like yellow highlighter, like this was good, this was good, this was, you know. Um, yeah, December is going to be all about really setting intentions, potentially writing out goals, deciding where you, you know, moved forward in 2023, maybe where you didn't quite measure up to what you had wanted or hoped for and what steps you're going to take now here at the end in December, right? To let the baggage go or to make choices, to decide, to really think about things, to set intentions, to write out goals, do all those things, right? So that when you move into 2024, you're like hitting it with a bang, ending it with a bang, hitting it with a bang. Look at that. Okay. Let's see what else is coming through. What the what? Aquarius. I just, I don't, I don't even know what you've got double sixes coming through. Wow. I'm like, you got six, six, six. You got double sixes here. You got the six of swords here. I'm just beside myself and you got the nine. So Aquarius, this energy, this energy coming up strong. So the sixes in tarot, I know a lot of times we hear that six, six, six energy and I just don't, I don't subscribe to any of that stuff. I don't subscribe to Friday the 13th for us. It's an auspicious day. How often does that happen? How lucky is that, right? Black cats are lucky. 666 six, six is this beautiful energy of perseverance, of continuing, of, of going at all costs, right? Don't stop now. Okay. For some, it could be a period of adjustment with 666, six, six, right? Because you've got change on uh, in the fives and then you move into six and you're like, oh, geez, I've had all of this change and now I got to get used to this change and adjust to this change. Okay. So again, you've got this, the six of cups here. So again, this is exactly what we've already spoken about for December, reflecting, reflecting on the time that's already passed, right? A kind of nostalgia. 2023. What did I learn? What did we do? What happened? Where did I grow? Where did I maybe stall a little bit? What do I need to do? Okay. And then with that six of pentacles, you've got that energy of really being generous with yourself, really being gracious with yourself, really allowing for um, gratitude to shine through with the lessons, with what you've got, with where you're at moving into uh, the end of the year here, December. This is really, really gorgeous, of Christ. Now, Spirit is indicating that uh, Spirit would like the card at the bottom as kind of an extra for December, as December um, kind of just came through with that energy of, of that uh, reflection of really looking back through the year and spirit's like, okay, cat, we can do one more, one better, right? So the queen of wands is here, Aquarius. So for many of you in October, excuse me, in December, there's going to be an energy of quiet courage and determination. You are ready in, um, in December to really, really kind of, um, for some of you turn things around 
in 2024 as January is, is going to be coming through, right? Turn things around. There's a, there's this passionate energy for the, for the rest of you or for uh, another select group of you. You're, you're wanting to really, really end the year on this beautiful, beautiful, positive note, right? Reflecting, setting goals, really knowing where you're moving into for 2024. For some of you in December as well, you're going to be very social, right? You potentially in November, for those of you that came into your tribe, that new group that really is supportive and caring and, and really, um, kind of your next level, you're going to be very social in December. There's this energy of feeling confident or moving into this energy of being self-assured and confident and really optimistic moving into the rest of December and 2024. There's a passion. There's a joy. There's a spark in you in December, Aquarius, that you pull over, right? You're not taking the baggage over, but you are taking that confidence, that, that determination, that joy, that spark into 2024, because bam, baby, you know, you know, you're doing big things. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful reading here, Aquarius. These next three months look amazing for you. Ups and downs, of course, and that is life, right? It would be so boring if we didn't have that. I know that we don't think that it would be, but dang, would it ever. <laughs> All right, I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit that like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.